Carolina is committed to you. The back and forth over some controversy in Pickens County is back in the spotlight. Some now calling for more books to be removed from the library. And Haley Spittler is standing by to break down some new developments. Yeah, the matter going before County Council just hours ago, this is actually last night, Council maintains there isn't a lot they can do when it comes to banning controversial books at the Pickens County Library. Even getting the county attorney's input on it last night. Well, let me catch you up to speed. Back in March, some Pickens community members asked for certain books to be removed from the juvenile section of the library, thinking the material is too graphic for kids. Those pushing for the removal have been calling on county council to act. However, the council says they can't do much, that it's up to the library board to decide. A few weeks ago, the library board was asked to take the book Drama by Raina Telgemeier out of the juvenile section. According to the book's publisher, Scholastic, it explores friendships, crushes, and school drama of middle school students. The board voted 4-3 to three to not recategorize it, but some community members disagree. Last night, those on both sides went before county council. I never dreamed that the day would come in our community when what was once hidden at the back of someone's closet or hidden in someone's basement because of the shame of it being seen or discovered would somehow find its way to the forefront of our public library. The pornographic nature of these books and the sensual language of this material is not only offensive to me and many others, it is also perverted, disgusting, and a sin against God. A lot of people have talked about pornography. As a, as a former librarian, I can assure you that the books in the Pickens County Library pass the Miller test, which means that on the whole, they have literary, artistic, and scientific merit. Well, the council did bring out the county's attorney who explained the council appoints library board members. He says county council cannot interfere with the day-to-day -day operations of libraries due to state statute. When asked if the council could pass a resolution on the issue, the county attorney says he does not believe that would violate the law. Of course, this is something that we will continue to stay on top of here on Fox Carolina. For now, back to you, Mac. All right, Haley, thank you. Staying in Pickens County, another major topic was addressed during last night's meeting. Council members did pass a six-month moratorium on building new developments at last night's meeting. So this means that there will be a pause on construction applications for condos, apartments, and RV parks. Earlier this year, council members denied a proposal to build a new RV park in the county. We just don't want to throw something out there. We want to be thoughtful of what is this going to look like 40 years from now, 50 years from now, because we want to preserve the quality of life that people enjoy. We want to protect personal property rights. We want to make sure that, that, that we've set the standards for what we want our county to look like, feel like, and for people to enjoy. This moratorium means members won't even look at new proposals for the next six months, and this was the third and final reading, and it passed five to one. Of course, we'll continue to follow what happens next for you.